So let's speak today about the initial steps that you would need to clear in order to get invited for an interview at a top tier strategy consultancy. I think you know already, or most of you will know already, what are the rough steps you would need to take, right? So first it's the CV and sometimes the, the cover letter that you would need to submit. Then if this sounds fine or looks fine, you will get invited for uh, a couple of pretests. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's more than one. And then you will be invited once this already has been tested to the interview days. And at the interview days, you then have usually a case interview part and a behavioral interview part which is usually referred to as the fit in the pi part of your interviews pis is used by mckinsey fit is used by nearly all other top tier consultancies so there is a clear reason why we are focusing on this case interview and the behavioral interview parts because for the first two parts so the cv and cover letter submission and also the pretests there is already good standard material outside, right? And whilst we are heavily, heavily pushing for what we call a logic-based approach, where you are crystal clear why you do something and how it will help you to solve a case, and then also crystal clearly communicate this to the interviewer, so he or she also does understand crystal clear why you do something and why it is helpful, and then also how exactly you will do it. Um, that is the opposite of what we call the bucket on framework based approaches where you learn like 10 to 15 frameworks by heart then you force fit them and in, in practicing 50 to 60 cases and then uh, yeah with random people most often and then you go to the interviews and then uh, usually get a turn done right um but here with regards to the initial two steps it's totally fine to use the standard material to learn uh, essentially what is necessary for a good CV and the cover letter to apply it to your situation and also with regards to the pretest, it's fine to learn for the pretest like you would learn for a test in university. All of this is fine. There is no need for senior calibration. There is absolutely no need for senior calibration if you put in the work, right? And this is true for at least 85 or 90 percent of all candidates I have seen in my life. There might be like five to 10 percent of candidates where it is really necessary that a senior resource is helping reshaping some of the um, earlier experiences and, and also professional um, activities that has been carried out. But for the vast majority, especially for graduates and young professionals, it's absolutely not necessary as long as you put in the legwork, right? As you long as you put in the legwork and use like some decent resources here, it's totally doable. And the difference here, the big, big, big difference is the questions that you will get asked. I mean, for CV and cover letters, they are not even questioned asked, right? You can take your time um, and, and rewrite it as often as you want. For the pretest, um, it's a bit different, but there are also the questions that will be asked and known. But for the, then later on, for the interviews itself, you can get asked any question. And here, a very, very different preparation is necessary. And here, you will benefit big time from senior calibration. Big time because here you will need to prove a skill. And that is the skill of systematically solving a problem. And that is something you will need to learn. And it's often counterintuitive to what you have done in, in your professional past and what are your thinking patterns and what behaviors have been institutionalized there. However, let's not even focus on this because that's not um, the, the core topic of today's video. The core topic of today's video is that you please put in the legwork, right? So yes, we are also helping um, the, our mentees from the first initial conversation with HR uh, and, and how to position there until the very last um, conversation with regards to offer negotiation. We have seen it all, that's true. But still, we, we, we would not even consider offering something like a done-for-you service. 
where we would write your CVs. First of all, it would, would not be ethical, right, from my perspective. And second, it's also not helpful. Because if we see early up on that someone is not even able to follow guidance and pointers when creating their CVs and cover letters, or going through a, a resource that is pointed on for the clear, clearing the pretest, this person has zero chances to get to the level of an outstanding problem solver. We don't even need to start here, right? And also, you would need to get into an MBB mindset. What does it mean? What is an MBB mindset? It's like, what would you need to do if you were the last person in the world um, still managing to get that task done, right? If you couldn't ask anyone else. Um, this is the mindset you should have, even if you are working with mentors and coaches and whatever. And again, here, with regards to the first two stages of the interviewing process, meaning the CD and cover letter and also the pretest, it doesn't matter if you are like, it's not worth it to get senior guidance. If, because if you are not able to clarify or clear these stages by yourself, then you have no chance later on to have a positive outcome of the case interviews. So think about this.